Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 67, and we're continuing our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And, uh, well, we, we, we pretty much cleaned out the, uh, the area under the Jek Jek Tar tunnels. Um... I, I, I do kind of find it kind of funny that they talk about the, the guys that you fight down here as, oh, oh, these are the people who who have a, a burning keen edge to kill a Jedi. And I'm mopping the floor with them. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, so surely... Surely now, as we go to enter the last room for the last guy. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, I had another phrase in mind, but I decided to change that one at the last minute. Uh, surely, surely this will be the last of it, right? Right? Nah, of course not. Are you kidding me? We still got way more planets to go and more to do here. I need to oh. get out of here before Visquis executes me. Uh oh. Uh, hello, Viscus. Why am I standing at the door? Oh, loading. Please wait. You need to choose one party member to accompany Etten and Bowder. Oh! Okay. Uh. Ooh. Who do I want to send with these two? Uh, I kind of want to send the handmaiden because she is, no, she's not leveled up, um, but she's got the best combat skills. Korea is leveled up and has heals, although I, I don't, I don't think that's a party that's going to get along too well. Yeah. Uh, Let's send the person most likely to keep him alive. So, uh, Korea, it is. Party selection complete. Oh! Oh, seriously! We're, we're just gonna leave me hanging there? Fine. Okay. That works. I guess we'll be, uh, leveling up a couple of people in a minute. Alright, so, I'll stun him. Toss a frag grenade there. Switch to ranged, because it looks like that's where these guys are going to stay. And... Oh. And just attack. Let's get this over with. Oh, seriously. Alright. Lady. Use your heels. That's why you're there. No, you, you're just gonna sit there and try to tank the whole thing, aren't you? Aren't you supposed to be a Jedi support? Fine. Alright. Midbacks are always nice. Stamina is always good. Am I seriously gonna have to, like, redo the whole map with, uh, because it's not the main character? Did, did he carry the map with him? Like, ah, oh, man. Somebody forgot to grab the U USB drive with, uh, with the map. Uh. Okay, T3. Navigate 2. No? Does it not work like that? Alright, um. That's right. I did want to keep him leveled up because I want to keep him a tech specialist. I know I can train him as a Jedi, but I don't want to train him as a Jedi because I really like the extended skill set he has as a tech specialist. So let's uh, level him up real quick, like computer use, which we're going to need in a little bit. Demolitions, which we're going to need a little bit. Repair, which we can always use. Security is always nice, too. And awareness is good. And uh, let's do treat injury. I might, I might give him a feat that adds treat injury as a class skill, just so I can get more bang for my buck out of that one, and maybe start catching it up to everything else. Okay, 
Oh, speaking of feats, he's got unarmed specialist. All right. Um, he is not going down the two up and fighting tree, which is good. I want to say he was going down the uh, the uh, duelist. Yeah, there we go. So I can get a master dueling, which bumps his attack and defense from plus two to plus three. That's not bad. Close combat doesn't really affect him that much because he is going to be primarily a, uh, a physical kind of. Um, all right, so I could do treat injury. I could give him stealth as a class skill, but honestly, uh, he's not going to use that that much. Uh, dual, nah, finesse, nah. Mobility, nah. Regenerate vitality points might be another one too. Just because having having uh, health regens almost always good. Um, I almost want to give him like a, a weapons focus blaster pistol too, just so I can keep him with a blaster pistol. But I seriously think he's just going to be toting a sword more often than not. In which case, I might want to start uh, bumping up his flurry and or his power attack. Um, although master gearhead would be nice too. All right, and that would move his repair security and computer use another plus one. Uh, that's tempting. That's tempting. Um, but yeah, the, the, oh, what's that one? Caution? Demolitions and stealth? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing any of the blaster stuff with them. So I could get a master dueling or... Uh, treat injury as a class skill and I think I'm gonna go with treat injury as a class skill just because I, I want to use him for a lot of crafting that that's why I'm not changing him from a tech specialist to a Jedi because he gets more skills and more skill points as a tech specialist and, and I want to continue making use of that and giving him class injury as a skill should help with that master duelings only another level away so we're not, we're not hampering him that much. And, ooh, and that's right. And since Kriya is never going to not be a Jedi Counselor, let's get her leveled up. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot of uh, skill points to play with. So we're, we're going to keep the stealth up because, and if we ever need to do any stealth-based crafting, we can borrow her for a minute. Uh, awareness because, and treat injury because... Because there's not really a whole lot else to do with her. I mean, um, this is not going to be one of my skills-heavy people. She doesn't have computer use. Demolitions. Uh, persuade is only for main characters. And security. I'm not using for her for any of those. Um, so, I, I guess we'll just keep going the way we're going. This, on the other hand... But since half the reason why she's here is for the ability to heal the party, let's go ahead and give her the improved heal. I mean, that's why she's there. And that gets everybody up. You know what I might do? Instead of keeping control of Atten, I might keep control of Korea. About her. Nah, I'll keep control of Atten. Keep him in the lead. He's my newly minted knight. Well, not knight. Because, uh, he doesn't. <laughs> he's not that kind of saber swinger. Hello, Mr. Gand. Alright. Get him! Because I don't think these guys are going to take too much extra. There we go. Done. And what did you have on you? Krath Holy Battle Suit. Holy Battle Suit, Batman. Huh? I'm curious now. Krath Holy Battle Suit. That is... That's medium armor, and I do have a lot of people who, uh... Who have medium armor. Or who medium armor is the best they're going to do. 
Uh, max dex plus two, defense nine. I almost. Am, what are you? Uh, why is it flashing at? Oh, because the the multi spectral target assessor. Oh, that's right. I think I was going to put that on Atten too if I hadn't already. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. I don't remember where those came from. Oh, uh, the darts. Is it still blinking at me? I, I kind of wish there was a uh, mark all is red <laughs> type deal. So it will stop doing that kind of thing. Combat sensor. Alright, that is dex plus two. That is attack plus three. <laughs> and Okay. Weapons focus... Oh, this one requires weapon spec. That's why he didn't have it. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm not going to worry too much about that because, but that, that is kind of tempting. That means I lose a little bit of the max dex bonus, which is going to affect a few things. But that, um,. That helps with the resistances. Hmm. Alright, let me cancel that for now. Close out. Let's uh let's go about the business. Let's go on about some business. <laughs> Time to even the odds. Oh. Wow. Okay. So these uh mean streets, huh? Nothing to loot there. All right, let's uh, target this guy. Toss a grenade, stun droid, and uh, do I have any battle stimulants left? I do. All right. Gamma. There we go. Take him down. Make it count. Any uh, HK parts I could? I know somebody that could use a couple of HK parts. Hmm. Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Uh. Gee, do it. Do I? Do I go ahead and? All right. I think just for the XP, I might make a complete loop because it looks like uh, there's going to be a few people over or around and about looking for me. Nope, door is locked. <laughs> How convenient everybody's home somewhere behind a locked door in this day of bounty hunters. All right, what we got next? And another locked door. Okay. I kind of figured they all will be. And another locked door. Aw. My least favorite vendor is not there. All right. That, um. Uh, I guess uh, that's not going to be open even if I wanted to remember where that went. Oh. Hello, Mr. Brotherhood. All right, you look about right for a cluster of people to toss a grenade, stun, and start doing some attacks. Did you have to run that close, though? I mean, seriously, did you have to run all the way up? You're tossing a grenade, man. Your strength isn't that low. Or is it? No, it isn't. Ooh, battle stimulant. Nice. Life support pack, also nice. Come on. Loot the body, too. All the bodies. All the loot. A poison grenade. I don't usually use those. But I might, on the next group of guys... 
just to just to use it. Although on the other hand, I might want to save it for parts. It's always useful to have parts. I wonder if these are going to be the only guys here. All right. Uh, let's try this again. Let's toss a grenade, stun droid, and attack. Let's toss a grenade, stun droid, and attack. There we go. Nothing? Oh, he saved against it? Okay, fine. Where'd Priya go? Oh, she's stuck around the corner there or something? Come on, lady. Don't you know why you're here? Although, never mind. She was using the force powers, which is one of the reasons why I brought her there. All right. So that's to the docks. Just for the sake of thoroughness. Let's see if there was any other uh, opportunities to uh, engage with the locals. Yeah, we can call it that. Oh, Mr. Droid Merchant is curiously absent. Ah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, he saved. Huh. Was that really the only one? Oh, no. Uh, you know what? Sure. Oh, guys, did you seriously have to all walk right up in there? Korea, are you going to get in on this? Yes. Get to him in time. Doggone it. Where that came from. Cut him up. You know, he wouldn't be dead if you would uh, follow it along with the rest of the party there, lady. Just saying. Atten doesn't have the skill yet. Ooh, but you apparently have another level. Uh, bump this up as best we can. Alright. I wonder if she got a level faster because she was the main character? 14. Uh, 13. 14. Huh. Oh no, probably because I've been working with her the longest. All right. Skills. Same for as we always do. Feet. This, this is a tough one. She's already got Master Dueling. Got Jedi Defense, Melee Weapons. She's already got Weapons Proficiency Lightsaber. I, I ought to preemptively drop in Weapons Mastery Lightsaber. But, uh... Yeah. Although she doesn't have flurry or power attack or any of that sort of stuff, but that really isn't her primary bag. All right, I know it doesn't help right now, but let's go ahead and go weapons focus lightsaber because we, we should end up getting all our Jedi lightsabers by the end of this, I would expect. I mean, they wouldn't give you this many. Yeah, well, <laughs> Hi, here's your party of six Jedi, and oh yeah, uh, there's one lightsaber to share between them all. Oh, that's right. She gets two powers now. Even better. Improve stun. Improve stun. 
Okay. There we go. Oh, and he gets a level up. And you get a level up. And you get a level up. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's right. Because now treat injury is a class skill, so we can start catching that up. Wow, I didn't realize Atten was that far behind. Huh. Alright, let me keep him in the lead. And just on the off chance that uh, accelerates his XP acquisition. Are there any more locals to engage with? No, because that is the complete circuit. Alright. Hmm. Running slowly, running slowly. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. I bet now we end up... There we go. You have finally arrived. Both much sooner, yet much later than I'd hope. What? Uh, I'm here to kill you. Stop wasting my time. Get to the point. I'm not looking for trouble. I was hoping for a civilite. <laughs> I was hoping to engage in, uh... Was it vigorous negotiations? What's the phrase I'm thinking of from the Star Wars movie I'm trying to forget, but it's still better than the most recent trilogy. Um, aggressive. Ag thank you. Aggressive negotiations. I'm here to begin aggressive negotiations. <laughs> I brought the stick so it'd be gentler. Alright, uh, you're the one who wanted to see me, so... You're the one who wanted to see me, I'm not looking for trouble. Yeah, let, let's start nice. Let's start nice. I'm not looking for trouble. I was hoping for a civilized discussion. <laughs> I will not be the one violating etiquette. See, you do not do the same. Based on your actions alone, I take it you are not familiar with the organization I serve, or my responsibilities. No, no, I'm I'm pretty familiar. That's why. <laughs> I run the refugee sector. I decide what happens here. I control the flows and currents of this sector. I got news for you, buddy. The only thing you uh, control is flowing through a pipe. You have caused a great deal of trouble for the exchange here in Narshada, and I wish to know why. Because you put a bounty on my head. Your bounty hunters attacked me first. I had to get your attention somehow. I'm looking for some information. Why don't you tell me why you're squeezing life out of the refugee sector? After putting a price on my head, prepare to die. No, Mr. Viscous, I expect you to die. No, okay. All right. Uh, hmm. well, the refugee sector, I'm looking for some information. Uh... All right, let's start pumping up for information on the refugee sector. Because I can't remember if his bounty hunters actually attacked me first, or or if that was, you know. All right, so let, let's, yeah. We sought to put pressure on the refugee sector for a simple reason. Whenever seeming innocents are placed in danger, especially human fodder, the Jedi, <laughs> there the Jedi are, lightsabers blazing. It is curious, though. We've been applying pressure on humans in this sector for some time. Yet only now do you show yourself. Uh, I'm looking for some information. Why'd you put a bounty on me? <laughs> I don't care about the refugees, only myself. No. I wasn't aware or I would have come earlier. I only just arrived. I couldn't have helped these people faster. Ooh. That is an interesting question now, isn't it? Do I want to do? I wasn't aware, or I'd have come earlier. No, I only arrived. Ah, the Jedi have always been slow to act when danger threatens, more so now than in the past, and you are no different. Mm hmm. I thought we were going to keep it civilized there. Still, if you're only a recent arrival, that would lend some validity to the rumors of another Jedi being here on Nar Shada. Well, you know. Fortunately for me, I require just the one. Uh -huh. So you hi all right, I'm looking for some information, so you hired bounty hunters to track me down. Why? Alright, let's ask about the bounty hunters. 
Oh, you mistake me. I was not the one who put the original bounty on you. We all have our masters, you know. I think the masters are going on right now. Oh, wait, no. Wrong masters. My soon-to-be-deceased boss, Godo, is the one who placed the monumental sum of credits upon your head. Your price is so high that any bounty hunter who captures you would be able to buy their own planet. Yeah, good luck with that. You must have angered Godo greatly for him to hunt you so. Actually, I have no idea who he is. And that is why you are the perfect bait and why I will bring you to Godo. Then, kill him. I don't think it's going to work the way you think it is. I've, s I've seen this movie before. Oh, seriously? We're going to do this again? I have the breath mask there. I have the power. The yes, it isn't you. Uh, okay. I order you all. Attack the Jedi. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Attack the Jedi. Wait, did they just run away? You all, attack the... You never truly worked for me. No. Come on. Goto, I didn't. I wasn't. Please take the Jedi. I offer the human as a gift, freely, as I would my own. Yeah. Uh, he's mine to kill, not yours. Go on. Kill him slowly. Uh, there's been enough killing. Stop. Leave him alone. Let's go with there's been enough killing. Nope. Never mind. Hey, hey, hey. Don't tase me. Seriously, I should be able to withstand that, though. Uh oh. And now. Glad somebody arrived. Saves me the trouble of having to break out of here. Uh. <laughs> and. You are. My name's Mira. I've been watching you all stumble around this moon for a while, causing trouble. But now you've got Goto's attention, and he's the last person you want to have watching you. And how did Visquis capture you? Ugh, I was taken down like an amateur. I've never been inside the Jek Jek Tar, but they won't catch me the same way twice. You may have defeated Visquis, but you won't take down Goto so easily. And now he's the one who has your friend. Uh, we need to find and we rescue. Deal with that once we're out of here and someplace safe. Come on. I know one place where they won't find us. Light side points gained. Ooh, nice. Because I think he still had a little ways to go. All those bodies salute. Oh, uh, is he not dead yet? Awaken, beast. Oh, uh, lady, uh, I don't think you want to do that. What have you done? I have saved your life, beast. That makes it mine. <laughs> Kneel. Why? Why do you do this? Why did you not let me die? Because I need you to hunt, beast. This prey is something you have chased all your life. You are born and bred to it like no predator before you. You want me to hunt the human Jedi, the exile, and kill him? No, that you shall not do. You will not bring harm to the exile, and if you do, beast, I shall break you. The screams of your tribe hmm. primitives, the scene of lying blinded with the huntress's blaster at your skull, I shall make it so that is all you hear and see for the rest of your days. Even your madness will not save you if you wow. bring harm to the exile. Know this. That's hardcore. Kill me. I cannot bear the weight of another life debt. Kill me or I swear I shall kill you. The life debts of your people, the life debt you have twisted with your hate, I felt it within you. I shall promise you this, beast. Unlike the red-maned huntress, as long as you are loyal, 
I shall never show you mercy, no pity. But most of all, I promise you an end to your debt. Hunt her, pursue her, kill her, and ending her life will end your debt to me. The pain will pass. I was able to heal some of the wounds, but the rest must remain. You will need that mm -hmm. pain when you travel, and it will give you strength for the hunt to come. Where, where I can I find you? Must go. If you survive that place, then she will come to you. But first, I must prepare you for what is to come. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Can I get a break in the action, though? I need to. I need to. Cut to a new episode. We took out Viscuous, but Goto has him, and that means no bounty for me. All right. I'm probably going to regret putting the cut here, but if you're watching on the live stream, hang tight. We got five more episodes to record. If you are watching on YouTube, then you'll just have to wait till the next episode to see how this goes. Well. That was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.